Welcome to Total Fit Heads. Serious fitness for not so serious people. <laughs> My trainer was telling me about this. We should put this in because now it's about fitness. My trainer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I watched this show while I was doing a sit-up, so we can talk about the show now, because it's about fitness. <laughs> Our podcast really is you and me hanging out on this couch, and we just always want to talk about fitness. Right, that's how it started. Uh, um, the Copilot is the name of the the app now. It's on my it's on my channel as a different app, because they, they switched. They were Delta Trainer before. Anyway, he speaks to me. My trainer in the app. Ooh. speaks to me they made a series of my trainer so oh, that's weird I thought i'll you meant, meet like, with him in person on a zoom and i know his voice santana is now a good friend but also i have a digital santana that tells me next rep hold it longer fix your form weird yeah and it's so and he, so he told me about how they did it he just had to read some passages of a book like send them a chapter of him reading whatever they asked for and then they took that and turned it into a voice it wasn't like okay now say ah now say a now uh, say oh and then they so see it all together he just read and they turned it into his voice and he was like they told me to read really enthusiastically with a lot of changes and volume and and pitch and when he delivers it to me like the actual voice sounds so monotone and blah and he's <laughs> Nice ten reps, really good job. Like Weird. it's so strange, but it doesn't sound robotic. It sounds like him, just like really bored. That's funny that they have that one sentence or phrase or whatever. It's like, um, what is that sentence that has every letter in it? Oh yeah, the quick brown, brown fox, fox jumps, jumps over, over the lazy dog. Yeah. That's for like a typeface yeah. thing. Yeah, so they came up with that for vocal inflections yeah, but I everything. feel like I forget what he told me what book they made him read too. oh it was a real book they didn't just make it's, it up no it's a real it's just like a regular book or whatever the bible probably yeah I don't know and I remember saying to him yeah the bible I really want to hear that audio book of you reading it to me now yeah but on he's like I yeah and I had I did it in my closet because I had to have like a quiet space yeah. and he was just in his apartment not everybody has a fur in the room <laughs> no a fur coffin uh, corner. Really. I thought you meant like he was FaceTiming you. Like you hear his voice. Because some, some apps like the trainer will like yeah. FaceTime you. Or so we've like, trained like over FaceTime too. And that's why it's weird because I know his voice. I know him. Yeah. And then I also have a robot version of him. Yeah. That's crazy. The, the, it's the future. I remember as a little kid there was this comic. Um, you know the Fantastic Four? Mm -hmm. Do you know Reed Richards? No. Reed Richards is the orange one, the stretchy one. Okay. He's the leader. He's the smartest guy in the world. He makes all these crazy inventions, blah, blah, blah. At one point, um, <laughs> the funny thing about Reed Richards is he's kind of a jerk. And at one point his kid is like, dad, can you read me a bedtime story? And he's like, no problem. And he pushes a button and like an, a voice algorithm comes out. It's like, hi, Franklin, it's your dad. I'd love to read you a bedtime story. <laughs> and he's just like working on his, like tinkering with his new technology, whatever fictitious technology. And so he, he came up with a fake yeah. dad algorithm voice for his son <laughs> to read was his this son like a bedtime story. written as science fiction before yeah. this all had happened? Yeah, this was crazy yeah. sci-fi, you know, and he... As he's doing that, that's as crazy as the other thing that he's working on, which is like a portal to another dimension that doesn't exist. Coming right? soon! Right. So which one came from it? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we got the voice thing, not the dimension portal. What do they say that about sci-fi? It's just, it's just telling you what's coming because you got to imagine it before you make it. And there was a there was an old sci-fi where they had like a, they described some device that turned into like essentially was a fax machine. Oh. It was like a wild, wild west device, and they were like, I don't have to put my yeah. letter into the post, I can just, you know. Put my letter into the post. <laughs> a horse takes it without a person. Right, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. Uh, but they say that you shouldn't ask people, like, what, you shouldn't ask your audience what they want, because they they wouldn't have said, I want a car, they would have said, I want a faster horse, you yeah. know, that was Somebody said something that, Ford said, yeah. Henry Ford said that. Yeah, yeah. so you gotta think. They would have said a faster Ford. carriage, or, or a fa the fastest horse-drawn carriage, or whatever, something like that. Right, exactly. 
But I mean, you can extrapolate from there and say, well, actually, they just wanted to get somewhere faster. So if you dig down into it, right, you could well actually them. Yes. Pretty good. <laughs> well, actually. <laughs> <sighs> I was, get on this? I was saying that to somebody the other day. We were like arguing about something, and I said, "Can you not start a sentence with yeah, but?" Because we were going, scene partner. we were going back and forth, you know, <laughs> and we were arguing. About, I can't remember who it was. I mean, uh, you know, who it was, what we were arguing with. But I was like, "Can you just like stop for one second and listen to what yeah. I'm saying instead yeah. of yeah, butting what you know what I mean?" Sure. It's so frustrating. I know. I, I look at myself as a skeptic, and I I feel like I do that. At least in my head, I'm like, mm. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Huh. All right, how do we look great on Instagram? That's the goal of this conversation. And so talk, talking talk to the experts here. Yeah, we're coming in as the the Reed Richards of Instagram. <laughs> Is that his name, Reed? Reed? That's that's right. <laughs> okay. Spoilers. He was in. Uh, I mean, you don't care. Do you care about comics? Yeah. Ish. Sure, right, let's get go. Spoiled about he, he's in the new movie, and it was a big shock for everyone. Why? He seems like a cool character. He's like an Iron Man, but apparently smarter because you said the smartest man in the world. He yeah, he is slightly smarter, technically. Uh, it was a big cameo, and it was um, it's a surprise for a lot of people. I don't want. So it wasn't the Fantastic movie. Four movie. It was just him. It was he's in Doctor Strange. Oh okay, okay. So, so sorry it's for relevant. The spoiler. <laughs> right, but I think spoiler evaporates after. How long do spoilers evaporate after a movie? Or the, the I will say, do not talk about The Godfather because I swear I'm going to see it now that you told me to. You've never seen it? Spoiler has not expired uh, for that one. There's a horse head, I know that. Uh, I've yeah. been to the mansion where they filmed it, but I've not seen it. Flex. <laughs> Okay, I will reflex. When I saw The Godfather reflex. 25, 35 years ago, whatever the hell it was, mm, I, I ordered two giant meatball subs and I sat in a room and watched The Godfather. <laughs> Eating the slow, the slow I was like, meat. that's the coolest thing you could do. You know, Italian, you know, everyone want to get in the mood. Yeah, it's like you watch Scarface which is, with a with bunch a of coke. Buy a pile of coke, yeah, that's a great point. <laughs> Uh, which I also haven't seen, so. I'm gonna get attacked in the comments. Uh, Didn't you see Star Wars, like, last year? Technically, I've never exactly, precisely looked at Star Wars for the entirety of the duration of the film. Interesting. Mm. But you must know all the big things, Sure, right? the father thing. He doesn't even say that. He says, no, I'm your father. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't say, Luke, I'm your father. He right. says, he just says, I'm your father. He, he says, no, no, I'm your father. Because Luke says, he, he's like, do you know who your father is? And he's like, yeah, I know, you, I know you killed him. And he goes, no, I am your father. Everybody remembers it incorrectly, the Mandela effect, they call yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it Mandela? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> ah! Nelson Mandela, Milano, you're right. You're the right. Milano effect. Wait a minute. <laughs> No, I want cookies. Yeah. <sighs> and what, what's interesting about, I mean, we're getting real zany now, but so at the end of when when Star Wars came out, the first three movies in the seventies, it was episode four, five, six. Then in the nineties or two thousands or whatever, they made one, two, three, and yes. then most recently they made seven, eight, nine. Should I watch them in order? Is what well, you're that's, getting? Well, that's <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's tough because. One, two, three are technically prequels, but the, yeah. the CGI is crazy, so much better. Right. Like, no, I know, because I remember, I have not watched Star Wars. I've seen Star Wars on the screen at some ish. Right. And I remember thinking, like for four or five or whatever, I was looking at, wow, everyone talked about the, the effects on this, and <laughs> it looks like a screensaver from the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> it's like claymation. <laughs> yeah. Or, oh, yeah. Know Sorry, those, bad example. Um, it's more like practical effects. I'm like, so they just... They just made a movie this big and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then blew stuff up or whatever. Yeah. But that is my my messed up brain who is now that's now seen all of the better effects and so when you saw that yeah. not having yeah. been exposed to such crazy CGI, I'm sure it was very impressive. 
Right. So I'm assuming it would be really... And the other thing is that at the end of five is the big reveal that he's your father and it ends on a... Oh, it's five, not six? It ends on a cliffhanger. Oh, right. And you know think about that in the theaters. That must have been bonkers. You yeah. Know, in the 70s. I get whatever. mad when I gotta wait the 10 seconds for Netflix to start the next one. I'm on like, let's go, let's go, come on. <laughs> Skip intro. You gotta walk out of the theater and then spend like, a year of your life. Years. I think it was like two or three years. Oh, Lord. Anyway. But they had it all written? They knew? I, I don't know. I I think he would do the first one, and then he was like, whoa, that went well. I guess we'll make a bunch really? more. Yeah. That was Back to the Future. Because I remember watching Back to the Future 2 going, wow, this fits together so well. I love how they wrote this whole thing. And yeah. and from the beginning, it just intertwines in the second. And they thought about that way before we even got here. Right. And then I learned <laughs> that they made one. And like, oh, that went well. I guess we should do it again. It was yeah. like brain crushing. <sighs> I would say though, for for you, if you ever sit down and watch them, which I doubt. I, I mean, who knows? Maybe you're maybe you're trapped on an airplane one of these days. Oh, for, maybe you're maybe you go to Australia. Maybe you're going. Why to Why would I be awake for any flight? I did just do a video on a plane. That was the only. T that's probably the first time I've ever been conscious on a plane, and I was working. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I would say watch the order because I was talking about this is what's so messed up. And we should probably get to the actual content of the episode at some this point. This is but content. I was talking to my friend who just had a baby. Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh yeah. It's so he was like talking about the mental struggle of um, being a father and, you know, being responsible for another life and sure. blah, blah, blah. And I was like, interesting. What order are you going to show Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like. Sounds like you've thought about this. And I was like, actually, I have. Yes, I have. I haven't had kids yet. Yeah. I'm really, <laughs> really trapped in this conundrum. So the order is four, five, one, two, three, six. Oh, wow. Did not expect that because the cliffhanger. The cliffhanger. You want to extend the cliffhanger over three more movies. Well, the f Darth Vader's real name is Anakin Skywalker. Which is the, you, Luke's dad. Are you ruining the film for me no, right now? Okay. No, you, you know this. Uh, and then one, two, and three are about Anakin growing up. Oh, I for some reason thought it was Luke growing up. So, so it's, four, five, six it's are Darth Luke. Vader growing up on one, one two, three. three is Darth Vader growing up. Oh, that's great. What a great writing. Well I, done. <laughs> it's bonkers. And he's so much more interesting because after, after you after you get through all six, you're like, well, Luke's kind of boring. It's weird that he's the star of four, five, six. Like he doesn't do anything. He's not nearly as cool as his dad. Which is and then you realize the whole thing's about his dad. Yeah, he's actually the lead character. Yeah. What's seven, eight then? Seven, eight, nine is There's a nine. A train wreck. Just completely disregard. They're so dumb. They're so bad. Okay. Seven, seven is a almost. Uh, like point for point recreation of four. Okay, so I'll just watch. They seven didn't do instead. anything. They didn't do like you. There's another Death Star. There's another like a young. So they were just sand like sand planet, and they're like, we do, I don't know. We just gotta do it again. Wait. Because it was. But the effects are better. So they're just like, okay, well, we're gonna do a remaster, basically. You know, when you <laughs> yes, you take I a know. crappy old song and then you make it sound better because it's, it's the future. It's not quite that. It's like it's like when Taylor Swift re-recorded yeah. all of her okay. stuff because of that. Because she wanted she to make money on it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Her catalog or whatever. Taylor's version. It, that's exactly what it's it was. It's Star Wars Taylor's Taylor version. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there anybody out there in the internet verse that's like, you're wrong and I love it? Uh, possibly. And they're stupid. Okay. I'm just wondering, like, is, oh, it, is, oh, the, oh, is, is it my... mostly everybody has that opinion that, like, yeah, I don't watch seven through nine. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I this is my opinion. Oh, I don't go. I don't read the internet. I, I just, yeah. <laughs> I just see films and produce my own opinion on them. I, I don't know. I mean, they're they're widely regarded as not as good, better, better acting, better, better effects, acting. better everything. But they still have to say the stuff that's on the page. You know what I mean? And the things still have Writing to happen. Writing is bad. Okay. So Adam Driver's awesome. He's really, really good. Oh, yeah. He's awesome in the movies. Um, I like, uh, I blank out her Daisy Ridley. She's really good, too. Okay. And um, uh, I forget. 
I, honestly, I can't remember anybody else in the movie because they were so the movies are so blah. Jar Jar Binks, everyone hates him, right? But he's in the he's in the one, two, three. Oh, okay. I and swear he's annoying. He's really annoying. But I think they were just trying to sell Happy Meal toys. You know, eventually, like everyone hated one for a long time. But he, Anakin Skywalker is like uh, eight or ten or twelve in the movie. He's yeah. a little kid, and yeah. you're kind of like. Oh yeah, these movies are for children. No. Guy, thirty-year-old basement guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> thirty-year-old mom's basement comic guy. Comic reader, you know? dude. <laughs> comic book guy. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so, comics, like, you know? one's pretty bad, but Those then you're like, oh yeah, actually, it's pretty, it's awesome for if you're a little kid, it would right. be awesome. Right, okay. that makes sense. So, they almost have tr double digits of these films. I had no idea. Are they making? Oh, well, there's definitely double digits because they have spinoff movies. That, this is just like, that's like the main saga. They have one about, like a spin-off movie about um, Rogue One is another one that's like in the timeline, but not really. Uh, there's a Han Solo the one, I think. God, you're a nerd. There's a... Uh, Han Solo one. Oh yeah, I left the theater for that one. We were, we were at a screening, I think, right? I, I thought you went to the screening with me and I wore... I wore a Star Trek shirt and everyone was so <laughs> mad. I was like, what? what <laughs> no, I wasn't there. Okay. And then, I mean, I didn't leave because I was angry or, like, trying to be a jerk. It was just the bar was not in the theater. And then I was like, well, I'm out here now, so I'll just keep... <laughs> I never I didn't watch it. I feel like I did that, too. I definitely did that at a premiere. I went out to the bathroom, and there was a bar there. And I was like, oh, I'll just get a drink. And then, oops, the movie's over. The movie's <laughs> over, and I had a lot of popcorn, too, yeah. Whoops. <sighs> Star Wars... There was a Star Wars con of some kind this weekend here in L.A. Oh, yeah? I, I, don't, I didn't know about it. I just saw it on uh, Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The... The disco, what's his name? That guy that we, the comedian dude, nah, whatever. He he dressed up as Anakin. I think. Oh, he has um, far. Kurt. Yes, Kurt yeah. Santucci. He is that? Is it no? I think he, I think he's shortened it for his to, ta, Tochi. Tuchi. Tachi. Just, he's just Kurt. Anyway, whatever. Look up Kurt. It's Kurt. Look up Kurt. With a K. He went and his video is really funny. Yeah. He um, settled in that nice little niche of dressing up as. And going. What a fun thing! I know. That's I was like, great... man, I love that. This, I mean, it's not like he owns it. We could just start doing that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I did dress up as the Matrix. Oh yeah. That was solid. That was fun for an afternoon. I dressed up as Fergie to go on a private flight. <laughs> that was Very like nice. the video I was talking about. What'd you wear as Fergie? Just big pants and no shirt. No, Fergie in her glamorous music video, she wears like a tight, sparkly gold dress and big hoops and like. Oh, rings. Yeah. I got. I got. He's got some bangers. Some really, really good songs. Yeah, Black Eyed Peas know what they're doing. They, they really do. They really do. And Pitbull, God, oh, I miss that era. I know, me too. Black Eyed Peas didn't didn't Apple buy their like? Weren't they like the air the iPod band? Oh, I don't know. No, I thought it was um, U2. Cause no, U2 you put all their music on. U2, like, forced themselves on all of us. Yes. <laughs> I feel like I've deleted it off my phone, like, 20 times. This <laughs> keeps coming back. And they're like, mm, we're back, hey, well, what's up, I'm Bono. <laughs> but, but the Black Eyed Peas, remember they were selling iPods. They had those, like, silhouette, black silhouettes of people dancing with a bright green or purple background mm. and then the white air headphones and they would dance the airpods and I thought yeah. only, the only song they did was Black Eyed Peas song and Maybe. I was like, these guys must be getting paid. Like, I think Apple's I got some money lying around. Right. It's so funny because Feist, I think, was, was in an Apple whatever and that helped her really take off mainstream i'm sure she was already big at that point mm -hmm. it was like a big deal to get into an apple commercial almost yeah. that i as an artist would absolutely pay them to use my music right. even though it's the other way around they pay to license your music and put it in but are you kidding me no 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 no. it doesn't, it doesn't have to work that way here's a whole lot of money apple please <laughs> make it's me like famous. the reverse of uh, you know the super bowl halftime show right yeah what about it they don't pay the artist oh it's for exposure. It's like a bad Instagram deal. You, hey, thanks, NFL. Yeah. Wow. NFL's got some money lying around, too. Right. I mean, I still would they obviously do it. They very famously don't pay the artist. And I think somebody turned him down. I think maybe it was Rihanna. I'm blank on it. But someone was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> and it was like the, one of the wow. first times that that happened. Well, you realize that all of those huge names said yes. The Weeknd said Lady Gaga, yes. Lady Gaga, The Weeknd. The Dr. Dre. The, Remember way back Eminem. when, like, Aerosmith and Pretty yeah. Spears and NSYNC was in one of them? So they all of, that's 
common. Wow. I mean, I think for years and yeah, years. Yeah, because like Aerosmith really needed some exposure. Right. That's what I said. <laughs> Lady Gaga. Who doesn't know Lady Gaga? I mean, I mean, I guess she crushed it. She was probably my favorite one. Yeah. Ever. Timberlake did one. Yeah. Yeah, I remember usually being like, these are you know as blah as you expect, but Lady Gaga was dope. She actually did stuff. Mm -hmm. Katy Perry is really bad. Left Shark. It was it that spawned was a meme though. I hope she made a ton of money on Left Shark. <laughs> Uh, That's so funny. I'm friends with two guys that were on stage with her being the waves that the hell. Oh, that's so had. cool. Yeah, they they used to work out. Well, I was I went to the same CrossFit gym as them, and so I've heard the stories. And they they reposted every year, being like, "I was a wave." <laughs> like this is awesome. <laughs> I know a wave. Were they heavy? Did they need lecture. CrossFit guys for that, or was it like <laughs> the waves are actually 900 pounds? Yeah, like, <laughs> 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 Hey, of course we land again we real water. CrossFit. Like, we're still somehow meandered back to talking about fitness. That was perfect. Uh -huh. was very impressive. My goodness. So, looking cool on Instagram. First, be on stage with Katy Perry. Number one. Yeah. <laughs> Two, repost that every year at Super Bowl time. Yeah. Because you can. Because you can. Do you repost your flexes? I, I should. Like my Olympics one, I always forget to. Oh, um, that's so I'm watching good. it, I'm like, oh yeah, the Olympics. Oh my god, where's my laptop? <laughs> <laughs> you know Can I mean? we give an audio recount of how the Olympic one goes? Because it's so funny. Oh, I, I mean, just. Spoiler. <laughs> yeah, spoiler. Uh, I walk, it, it's the music. That, that music is iconic. Mm -hmm. It's the Olympics theme song, and, it's, and the title is How I Go Swimming after watching the Olympics. And I walk in with a, all my medals and my warm-ups and I do the stupid arm. Where you, know, the, you see them do it because you're watching the Olympics and you see them constantly like slapping their lats. That's mm -hmm. like what they do. Yeah. So it's like burned in your mind already and then you see Max doing it and you're like, okay, okay. And then I get in the pool and I fall in like a fat seal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. What's crazy about that one, and I know, I think I feel like we've talked about this before, but from, from my perspective, it's crazy because it was just like, it was a throwaway joke in the middle of a YouTube video that was nine jokes, nine jokes about swimming pools. Okay. You know, I made a joke about like how moms don't get in the water. Like I made a joke about how like little kids always stand on the edge of the diving board and they like are too scared to jump in yeah. and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I made a joke about like dogs, how funny dogs look when they splash in after a tennis ball. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, these are all really good jokes, I think, or whatever. And then it was, the, so that was like number four of a nine, you know what I mean? Right. I threw it on Facebook. I'm like, whatever, it's stupid. And it's like, it has like 40 million views or something like that. <laughs> you know, it's like well, the middle yeah. of one of my, it's a throwaway joke in one of my videos from two years ago. And it was from like two years prior oh, to, wow. it wasn't even an Olympic year. Yeah. <laughs> so that one always bog boggles my mind. Well, yeah. And a part of it too is that everybody's like so Olympic focused while they're happening, whatever. It was just timing or yeah. luck or... Now, the, my favorite part about that one is all of those medals, uh, I won them. <laughs> really? Yeah. I was going to say, I have a bunch of fake ones. They're yeah. hanging right there. They're like my high you school and real... college medals wow. for winning stuff. And that, and that was my favorite comment. They're like, where did this guy get all these medals? Did he go to a medal shop? And I, I could be like, I won them. I was so pumped. Oh, that's great. Love it. <sighs> they're in. They're in like my parents. They're in a, a shoebox in my parents' house. I was going to say, did you like, have house, them so. ship them to you? I was. I was visiting my. Um, I was visiting Boston, my parents' house, and that's where I. I had those, and I did the swimming pool stuff, and that was it. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, that's perfect. There's so much stuff at my parents' house that I'm like, ugh. I ended up buying a new banjo because it was cheaper <laughs> to buy one than to have them ship it. It was like three hundred bucks to ship out here. Like, what are you doing? I just went home, and in my. I have, uh, my grandmother had this antique carousel horse. Like, life size? Yeah. <gasps> it's enormous. And my Go parents on. are like, either take this out of our house or sell it. And I'm like, uh, uh, what, what's that? I think, oh, oh, I gotta check in for my flight. I gotta go. I'll see you never. Oh it's wait, a, so it's still there. It's still there. <gasps> it's in a box. If you oh want it, goodness. you can have it. Yeah, uh, I do. You gotta get it out of my house. 
Oh, wow. What should I do with it? Oh, there's so many options. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know if we have a... I, I think I have a picture of it. It's enormous. The only picture they have is uh, me as a little boy riding it. That's <laughs> and so, so my mom's like, is that going to work if I put it on uh, eBay or whatever? And I'm like, no. You need to take a photo of it. Take a new photo. <laughs> and it's a picture of a photo in a, in a frame. Oh, Lord. You know what I mean? That's yeah, on, right. like, their mantle. And my mom's like, are that's good, Are you right? selling the picture, or... <laughs> it's are you a picture selling? of a Max no sleeves as a child. It sells for thousands. <laughs> are you selling this boy? <laughs> yeah. Does the child come with it? Oh, that's <sighs> funny. My... The only cool thing I got out of my grandma's place was this. That's awesome. Antique phone, yeah. Does it work? No, I mean maybe. I don't know. It's, it has like. You don't have a landline? No. Well, there's your video. That's what getting a landline. Getting a landline. You know what? I Living should on a landline for for a, mu oh, a yeah. one hour. One hour one with hour only a landline. landline. <laughs> the thumbnail is this for my fitness channel, like for mental health. <laughs> I, like don't survive. Right, and it's the it's the spinny one too. I know what it's is rotary. That called? Rotary it feels phone. so good. Uh, it was cool for an Amy Winehouse music video. Also, I, now I want to convert your horse to a landline phone. Hi, hi. <laughs> the Mr. Burns. Hello. God, this is so weird. Weird, right? It's so funny. So anyway, what are you doing? <laughs> oh yeah, totally. So I'm on the phone. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. just. Okay, this is gonna, I'll try and shorten the setup. I was at a doctor's appointment and then I had to call within the same hospital to make another appointment. And so they mm -hmm. hand me the phone to like schedule and they, then they put me on hold and I'm sitting here with the phone tied to the thing and, I'm, and I turn to the woman and I'm like, this is so weird, I haven't hold, held a real phone in like years. I feel like, I feel like I'm a little kid at my mom's house. <laughs> and <laughs> it was just like, gave me just sort of like word vomit and then I realized, she spends her whole day on that phone. That's like a normal experience yeah. for She's her. She's like, wow, thanks. Mm. <laughs> and you're like, that's your whole life. Whoa. Oh, weird. It's so, it's so crazy. I feel like I do have a landline. It comes with cable. That's what or, I, I or called. The internet. I got internet and, I, and then I called them and I was like, or I was on the phone with someone about customer service. And I was like, oh, it, do you have any deals? Like, would it... Would it be cheaper if I did a bundle or something like TV, phone, internet, or something like that? Mm -hmm. And she was like, no, it'll be an extra $40 a month for a landline. I was like, <laughs> who on earth? Oh, we, we're on the wrong. I thought it was going to be cheaper too. You know, <laughs> I didn't like, want to be Here's $5 pay. and a landline. <laughs> I didn't want to pay for it. Yeah. Oh, where? Do your parents still have a landline? Yeah, they do. Obviously, yeah. I haven't memorized. I mean, I have all my best friends from yeah, from school, middle school landlines <laughs> yes. memorized. I feel like I have my parents' old fax machine number in there too, and I'm like, we could just we could clear that one out. Maybe we could call it and try and get it to print something. My my four eight four 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 five four. Oh yeah, I was just talking about this with Christine. Remember when we just gave people seven numbers? Yeah. Like, just seven? <laughs> that like, there's no more. <laughs> Nuts. And then it's like, it's like, you know, yeah, give me a call, I'm eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm really yeah. mad that Carl got one, you know? Uh, 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 well, Jesus got one, yeah. probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's, the, to me, what's crazier is meeting somewhere. I'll meet you at the mall at three o'clock. Oh, yeah, you're gonna say a time and then, like, be there. You know, and, and that's not like, like, the mall's big, mm -hmm. but, like, imagine a concert or, like, a mall. That's mm -hmm. that's really, mm -hmm. like, too big to meet somewhere, you know? Yeah. Maybe the fountain, which we just, one? We just did that stuff. Yeah, I, I guess you spend 15 minutes just trying to find a person, whereas if I get somewhere and they're not immediately in my sight, I'm, like, texting, calling. Dude, what? Where are you? <laughs> uh, by the bear. Whatever, I'm yeah. Ubering home. <laughs> yeah, I exactly. By the bear. Ah, <sighs> Okay. Reposting. Why did I feel like, oh, this makes sense because we were saying reposting the old oh, yeah. Olympic thing. Uh, it's about time where I should do my annual like fitness check-in every uh, April-ish. Is it May now? It's May. It's almost okay, June. Okay, maybe May, June-ish. Whatever, I just could look back. I think it's been about a year. I show 
six years ago, and now, well, I think you do that pose years. in the doorway or whatever. Or yeah, because I took, mirror? I gotta hang the mirror up too. It fell. <laughs> like this is so dumb. This, this, this is a lesson. You before photos, make sure they're in a place where you want to be taking them for the next six years, because now I gotta go back to that same spot. Mm. Anyway. Uh, I feel like I need to do that. It's a, this is a good reminder because that's it. The one from a year ago is still my number one most engaged photo. Wow! People love that transformation. That's uh, great. Have you ever done a before and after? <sighs> this does really well. Oh, that, oh yeah. See, this is how you crush on Instagram. Before and after is too great. So what? I have it, to. Yeah. How did? Oh, you haven't done it yet. I haven't done it yet. Okay. You did uh, a reveal. I did a reveal. Oh, for all of our audio listeners, we're talking about the fact that Max beard right now no beard i'm baby face i feel so weird yeah i feel like like what i, I don't feel that I, when i walk past the mirror i'm like who's oh right that's such a strange that's a weird thing. feeling it's not oh. as strange as i would have thought because i guess in my brain this is how i look or used to look yeah. so it's not like a shocker it's not like i um dyed my hair a new color or it's not like I have sure. a, a look that I, it, a new look. It's not mm -hmm. like I suddenly have a mustache a or something. previous look. Like I was pretty used to this look for most of my life. Because you Google image search yourself a lot and the old Every photos day. are still there. How do you think I masturbate? <laughs> 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 so it's not as weird. And oh, I'll tell you the weird one though is like my friends and family are like, oh yeah, there it is. Whereas the people like Britney's friends and Britney, oh right, who have that never seen know. me, only knew me with a beard. Britney only like, knew you as a bearded dude. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Wow. She her reaction was not great. Mm, her reaction on. was like weird. <laughs> I'm like weird, good, babe. Like you, weird, good. And she's like weird. <laughs> huh. And I'm like, all right, well, yeah, okay, you know. So that one, she, hers is okay. Her friends like screamed, like lost their lost their minds. We yeah. actually just went to um, uh, that burger place, um, Mary's hamburger Mary's. Hamburger Mary's, okay. Uh, so they were a little. They had a couple of those goblets of margarita. Oh, was, sure, just a couple <laughs> goblets. They say these, these. You want a margarita? And you're like, yeah. And they give you a fish bowl full of booze, and you're like, okay. So they were a little. Uh, they were ready, animated. Yeah, yeah, ready to be performing. Uh, but yeah, they were like, wow, you have teeth. <laughs> I'm like, I've eaten pretzels with you. <laughs> you just thought I was gumming them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So they they freaked out a little bit. But and how was the Instagram response? It's weird. Um, the girls love it. The guys hate it. Interesting. Which I think like, is completely pretty. completely bifurcated. Yeah. <laughs> which I, which tracks. Guys really like beards. Girls are like, eh, they're okay. You know, some girls like them, some girls don't. Yeah, but I, I think guys by and large, like a bigger... Dudes are just like, yeah, Dudes, dudes. are like, beards, sick. You're almost a caveman, you know. <laughs> I know you've had girls come up and just touch it. You're almost a caveman. Sorry. <laughs> Need to be a better scene partner. Because I just like... <laughs> Skipped over how hilarious that is. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> they hit you a rock. Yeah. Um, so, the girls the, will touch your beard. Have you ever had a guy come up and, and touch it? No, okay. but I did... St Stevie, years ago, pointed out that people just touch me a lot. Like, oh, in general. Like, people just come up and touch me a lot. So it's not just the beard touch situation. They touch my face, they touch my body. Huh. Not like... Not like I, well, I, I didn't think inappropriately. Not that I like, grabbed my junk or my butt or anything, but 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 to her, that was inappropriate. Right, yeah. She's she like, was like, if I was in your position. Exactly. Well, what is it about you? His gregariousness. Was no this... idea. I, I didn't even notice it. And this was when you had a beard? Yeah. Are people touching you less without the beard? Well, now nobody's touching anybody. We're not That's going out true, in public. Yeah. We're barely... We're, Slowly crawling. We back had into separate public. straws in the fishbowl. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're not sharing toothbrushes anymore. <laughs> uh. All right. So transformation will help you pop up on Instagram. Yeah. We should talk lighting. Lighting. I just learned this. I'm so mad. Overhead. Somebody commented on my YouTube. I think it was. They're like, "Stop using the goon lighting to make your muscles look better." And I was like. One, 
I have a video where I talk about how I make this lighting in on purpose while I'm renovating my gym. Mm -hmm. And two, now I have to Google goon lighting. And, <laughs> and it is a thing. It's an urban dictionary, and it's so funny, and I want to use it all the time now. I was so mad this guy said it, and I'm so glad that I know what it is now yeah. that I like that guy. What again. is it? It's over. Is? It's harsh overhead. Harsh I mean, I just call it harsh overhead lighting that makes sure. But now there's a term for it. It's goon goon lighting, and mm -hmm. it's it came from some other YouTuber that that talked about putting it in his gym. Which the I only problem with goon lighting is, what do you do about your face? Oh, your face looks like garbage. I'm you look like a, a raccoon, an eighty right? year old muscular Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> raccoon, a little old, trash panda with abs. I'm thinking about old female. Hulk. That's to me. That's like the funniest thing. That's in me in like, like three years. Like Grandma Hulk. <laughs> she, you know, she's got like her walker, but she's shredded. You yeah, know? that's the goal. God, that's funny. <laughs> uh, I like overhead lighting. Although um, Brittany did a trick the other day where she had to take a photo for uh, an audition for some fitness company. I don't know mm -hmm. what it was. And she was like, where's the light coming from? I want it coming f directly from my side. And I was like, why? And mm -hmm. then she flexed her abs and she like Cast rotated it enough until I was like, what are you? Oh my God. <laughs> you know, it was, <laughs> yeah, they just, <laughs> they just like showed up. It was insane. That's funny. Yeah. So same thing as harsh overhead. It's like directional light. That's really hard. Again, it's going to be crappy on your face unless it's straight on your face. So good face lighting is actually bad for your muscles. Right, right. Although, no, yeah, there's no real. I'm trying to think of like a way you can use when you when you want to take a good fit, selfie. Selfie, for example, you find a window and you just stand right in front of it. And you take yeah. a selfie. Or That's if it's the, overhead lighting, go right. look up at it. That's the MySpace angle. Right. The MySpace angle. <laughs> That's the girl angle. It's the bit. It's the sorority girl angle. You know the Twitch camera. Right. Right. The Twitch streamers that are just like face and boobs. <laughs> that was that was one of the first things when the first time I met um, started meeting YouTubers or internet people in real life. Far and away, they were from from like mid chest up. They looked identical, and then from mid like bottom of rib cage down, they were just. Way bigger than I thought they were gonna be. A bunch of pears <laughs> walking around. That's I how I it. feel. I, I wanted to bring somebody talking about Brittany. She always takes shots from below to make herself look taller, which is great. And she's got these ballerina legs right. and just striking photos. When you do that for me, it's absolutely a pear. I'm just gonna like <laughs> bobble around with this tiny little head on top. I even like had to cut some shots from that private jet thing because I'm coming down the private jet and it's just like these these big old turkey legs <laughs> and my tiny little top. Oh, so yeah, funny. way better from here up for us YouTubers. That's the rule. Yeah. Although fitness, w one thing about fitness influencers now is they're getting real good with their camera work. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't been to... A, That's why we're making this, to help everyone influence. I haven't been to a lot of gyms lately, but I've seen... Instagram stories and stuff. It's just like a bunch of dudes, jack dudes carrying tripods and stuff like that. I just took a tri two cameras. I did a dual camera shoot with a mic to LA Fitness. Nice. I did Murph by nice. myself in a tripod and so oh, it's me like working in with these dudes. What do you I would have done it with you. I thought what, what well, happened? Didn't well, we do it? Honestly, it's in the story even. Christine comes with me and we're all dressed in our American gear and she's like, wait a minute. Murph is stupid and I'm gonna hurt myself, and so she does just like a butt workout, and I do Murph. Ugh. <laughs> Didn't we do? We did Murph. Where did we do it? At the oh, at the rock Hollywood climbing Boulders one. rock climbing yeah, gym. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was great. Really fun. We forgot the last run. We finished, and then we're like, thought we were done, and still had to run a mile. And we were, oh, I, you dressed up on purpose. I accidentally wore my Captain America t-shirt. Oh, I t -shirt. thought you did that. That's funny. That's really funny. Maybe I'm sure it's sub, subterraneously. Subterraneous. Because <laughs> you're. Sub cerebral. Uh, your head is the turf. Huh. Anyway. Okay, yeah. so. Oh, LA Fitness light. has great overhead lighting, too. Yeah. I feel like a lot of places now are, are smart about it. Phoenix Effect, if you've ever been there, it's on Melrose in West yeah. Hollywood. You took they. Me. Okay, yeah, yeah. They have. It's a garage and they have no lights inside, but like both sides of the garage open. Or no, it's one side of the garage. So that's like harsh side lighting, Perfect. which is, yeah, it's fantastic. You look 
phenomenal in there. I guess you just want sort of harsh lighting. Yeah. And harsh, we mean like really, one really direction. bright from one direction, right? Yeah. I mean, you can get away with probably two directions. If your face looks crappy, the rest of you probably looks great. Yeah. Who cares? No Under. We should try that. The, the <laughs> ghost story lighting. I've never done that. That's glamour lighting, isn't it? Oh, no, right under. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah straight yeah, yeah, up yeah. under, so now your abs are like... Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> um, angles are important, too. We angles are important. touched on that. One of my favorite was from the... Uh, uh, what, what is it called? FitCon? Yeah. FitCon? Fit Expo. That Fit we just Expo? Went to. Yeah. And she was like, oh, I was pregnant. She did the twist. That was the funniest <laughs> thing I've ever seen in my life. Is that video out yet? Not yet. Coming okay, soon. Coming we soon. shot a video at the Fit Expo. <sighs> but yeah, so that was so what's your what's, what are your angles how do you how do you what's your angles? oh yeah so this is a I like from here down is just absolute garbage I like barely have any uh, quad definition which I'm working on and so if you see from below it's nothing I'm always trying to make my shoulders look bigger so mm -hmm. definitely angle from above mm -hmm. unless that's like more flattering to your jawline oh oh you mean camera angle yeah I thought you meant like body angle no, I mean camera angle. So one of the so, so, oh, you mean like posing? Yeah. So for me, um, in theory, I guess for you too. But for me, uh, you want to make your shoulders look wide and your waist look small. Right. So one thing you can do is you can sort of twist your hips to the side mm -hmm. and then you know what I mean. So you're you're in theory, not not reality, but you're looking at this. From the side of your hips. Side of the hips, but front like of your front chest. Front of your yeah. chest. So, so you then you look, have that V look. You look like a triangle. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And also then you get the butt added. And you get the butt added. Popping the foot. Popping I've learned the that. Foot, Jen. But you get you gotta pop the right one. It's the you pop the back, back. foot. Is it? That yeah, it's pop no, yes, because you wanna see this cheek come out. It's pop the back foot. Sorry to all our audio listeners that, that didn't get to see my butt. Yeah. Yeah, because if you pop the one, you look pancake, and then you pop the other, it looks. Yeah, you, your bigger. front, your front leg should be straight. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Help with the butt. Helps with the butt, and then sit into it. Yeah. I've taken a bunch of photos looking like Brittany and looking like the Ultra Angels. Are you sure. Naturally, like you do. Uh, Ultra Angel is a bunch of babes that fly around with Ultra Music Festival, and Britney's one of them. And they're also um, they're not just babes; they're wildly talented dancers that all dance in sync with insanely interchangeable choreography. And it's very impressive. And there's fire and uh, also great butt poses. But and they're all they're, they do. I mean, you want to look at some good poses. Mm. They're they're you want to talk about a low camera? They put the camera on the ground. <laughs> Get away with it. You yeah, know, I mean, Brittany looks like she's nine feet tall. Yeah, I guess they don't care how small their shoulders look. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're doing different poses for sure. Also, I'm not trying to make my waist look smaller. I know that's like a traditional thing for the dude bodybuilders want to be, and women definitely want a small waist, but I want to look like a fucking ninja turtle. Hey, I hate that I just swore. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But I'm so passionate about these Ninja Turtles. <laughs> like uh, like a wide CrossFitter, you know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone in the CrossFit Games is just like a, a tube. <laughs> the um, the Thor's... Thor's the, daughter. The do all, the all the daughters. All the daughters. All the daughters. The daughters. Amazing. They're just, just like a rectangle. I like a strong rectangle. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most powerful shape. If you're, a, if you're an hourglass, you're just breakable. If what about a triangle? A tube. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, that's great. You're stacked. Stacked. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, so posing is different than angles. I love how we're taking this seriously, too. We really are trying to coach Posing is different than angles. Uh, I would also, I mean, we haven't even started to talk about this, but um, we'll get a tan. Oh, yeah. See, I don't do that. Do you and, contour? Uh, I don't contour. I wonder I if they do that. Sometimes I do it on, on uh, Facetune. Y you'll I've, I've seen people. Like, add in shadows? Yeah. Or, or um, We're not, looking not, fake. not contour, uh, what am I thinking of? Sharpness, or, mm. you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, there's like a way to turn up the edges yeah. on something. You just end up looking really grainy, but it makes your... Jacked grainy. Yeah, it makes your bod it's, it's a look. Hot, hot bod, for sure. <sighs> we but, haven't even talked about um, feats. Feats? Oh no. Not 
not feet porn, not foot, but like uh, what things you, do you with can your do. Foot? For example, a pistol, a one-legged pistol squat. Oh yeah, this is okay. Feet, got it. I was like acts of <laughs> acts outrageous, of amazing. Things. Impre- That's yeah. the next step. Is also doing something super dope. This whole topic sort of started when this girl flexed on me on <laughs> on TikTok. She did a a one-legged pistol squat, but her leg was around the outside. And behind her inside? butt. Wait a minute. It, she called it a dragon. Basically, think squat. about crossing your legs and then squatting with one leg, and the other leg sticks out in front of you. You do a one-legged pistol squat, but your straight leg is behind your squatting leg. Yeah. It was insane. And, it's and, and, wildly and, impressive. And then I tried it, and I was even more impressed. It was awesome. It's super hard. Yeah. So I commented like, "Ha ha, that's CGI." Just kidding, you know. Ha, yeah, ha, right. ha, ha. And then she did it again. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, "Okay." Oh. Responded directly to his comment as a TikTok. She which... like, she basically like took a pie and just pied me in the face. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. So then we we're talking about like, so for example, I'll give you one: yeah. a backflip, right? A muscle up. A... Two things I'm trying to get this year. A, uh, um, a handstand push up. Okay. That one's, see, you gotta rank here. these on impressive looking to ratio to how hard it is, right? Because right? a handstand push up is incredibly hard, and when you do it, people aren't as impressed as, a, as something that is actually kind of probably easier. Right, like a cartwheel. Yeah, weird. Anything Kaylee Mara does. Anything she does. Anything she does. Nathan Sue, I send you him all the time. Yep, He'll, amazing. Like sit in a split with a barbell over his head. But now we're getting a little, we're getting a little fancy here. Like, yeah. So, for example, like a clean of uh, an incredible weight is awesome. Yes. But Even you know good form and a reasonable amount of weight, I think, is impressive. But I think now that's veering a little too far into equipment and. Sure. So, what should the rules be? Like, you can't have any props or like a flag is really cool, but. Oh my God, flags are so hard too. Right. But they look so awesome. But you need a pole. What's what's the what's the easiest one that looks harder than it is? Juggling. <laughs> yeah. Shout out juggling, Josh. Shout out Alex <laughs> Pagnola. <laughs> oh Lord. Um, uh, the you, easiest one. That's a good. It's a perfect question. Because even like sitting in a split is quite challenging for most. Yeah, and and it's not one you can pick up pretty quick. Let's let's think of one that like the average person can start doing. Yeah, yeah. If you wanted to do one Instagram trick, what would it be? I mean, obviously, muscle up is the my what I would pick because that's what I'm working towards. I might just do a pose. Like, if you do the right sit into a pose, you can really make your butt pop. Or you, if you like, sort of go like, you know, yeah. the casual flex, cross your arms. Cross. <laughs> oh, that's it. When you cross your arms, put your knuckles under your biceps. Yeah. And then you just look. That's my whole identity. <laughs> I'm actually really your personality. <laughs> is that pose? Uh, are you working towards any sort of Instagram flex? Oh, you've been doing Grace Face because of Lanny Cooper. I love it. So I've been trying to do incredibly hard things with a cheesy grin. <laughs> because we had on the Mobot founder. Yeah. And she was, she told us about Grace Face. We're like, can you bench press a whole crap ton and look like it's easy? Yeah. Well, it, what was crazy was that she had thought about it. Yeah. Because I never, forever, I never thought about it. You know, I just make a dumb face when I'm doing something hard. I, mean, I thought that's what everybody I does. I chew. I I just like aggressively chew and make the most horrendous faces. And when when you think about stopping it, I swear it takes away some of my power Definitely. because now I'm, my mind is not on the whatever. You need all of your focus. Yeah, which is why I can't use a standing desk. Because just a little piece of the back of my mind energy is going towards keeping me upright. Mm-hmm. I When I work, I'm like basically in bed laying down. <laughs> because I, I put all of my war- energy into whatever that task is. I'm like, not even what kidding. What is that movie with the, uh, the recycling robot? The animated one? Recycling robot? <sighs> Brave Little Toaster. Oh, Wally. Wally. Yeah. You're like one of the humans in Wally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> that's oh. the dream. I mean, that's, you just know, a that's the dream. Just with diabetes. <laughs> yeah. Just... I do have a, this desk that I don't use often 
I have it for if I'm doing a task that doesn't take focus. Oh, my like standing or my biking desk because yeah. I feel like that would be useful, but it's not. I don't use it that often. I guess I'm not working. I I, I would like to. My elbow's been my my elbow. I think it's bicep tendon, but it, it's I don't know what it is, but it's been bothering yeah. me quite a bit. I can't really do a lot of pull ups anymore. That's a it's bummer. a bummer because that's my favorite thing to do. Really? Can do you have a belt to add weight? You would talked about that. Uh, I don't. It's not a, now. I'm just doing regular pull downs on the machine. Is that so that helps because you can change the angle or? Yeah, I I put the handles on. Oh, so, so I you can, can twist it way. a little bit. Or do I still try to do parallel pull ups or like chin ups? Yeah, but that's how I did Murph. No. By the way, I I modified. They weren't pull ups. They were. There is no um, bar like that in my building. Uh, There's only a. It, it, actually, it's a really weird. It's a. It's a. It's one of these, and then one of these. Yeah. And then like, yeah. It's why, so annoying. Why is that so common in a in a big box gym that they don't just have a bar? They have like all of these different ways to hold. It makes really no sense. Wide. I don't know. But ever, ever since we had, um, I, I can't believe I'm blanking on all these names, but um, the barbell that isn't a kabuki strength yeah. yeah ever since he was like why do you think they make barbells that shape that's one of the biggest mind explosions i've ever had yeah. i was like oh because it's easy and they can mass produce them yeah most people like the most amount of people can use them and right it's simple and you just crank them out you know right i know we and should get one of those bench press ones that are yeah. movable uh, yeah for or have different like hand grips on them or whatever right um what are you working towards? Muscle up, obviously. And back flip. I've been doing weekly private lessons. Whoa! At the did circus. Did I not tell you this? Yeah, I did. Okay. It's hard, man. And now all my leg days, I also do just explosive jump stuff. So yeah. I'll go from sitting to jumping as high as I can and then tucking my knees and landing. Kind of like trying to be as explosive as possible, but also get to the tuck position. It's... Mm -hmm. I feel you like I'm not getting up, any higher. You I'm should not, look up... Um, a lot of basketball players do stuff like that. They do all like these things they jump do. off a box onto the ground yes. onto a high box. They do stuff like that. Yeah, because that's um, especially for basketball because you're in motion when you do a jump. Yeah. This one I have to go from like stagnant. So I've also been doing from my knees to my feet. So so you can yep. only hip extension. Yep. Right. That's all you've got to we get used to yourself do a ton up. Ton of those, my God. I I, I keep doing it and I swear I don't get any higher. I don't know. I don't know. It's so scary too, because I'm nowhere near like. You should you should have Christine or somebody crawl on your back while you're trying to do it. Crawl on my back. Like hold on. Oh hold oh, on more like weight. A I have I have a weighted vest. Maybe I'll do that. It's not enough weight. You need a human being. Oh, I saw. Terry, <laughs> it's got to be a human. And they got to be stopping you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never do this. <laughs> I'm your father. Yeah. Um. What is his name? Terrence... Cruz? Owens, I think? No. I don't know. I, I feel like I sent you his stuff. He used to go to um, the gym up in NoHo. Oh, the No Limit? Yeah, No Limit. Anyway, he's he does squats with the worst range of motion, meaning uh, he's standing in the cage and the catch bars are maybe like just below his shoulders. And then he puts... He sets so the bar much. on that. He sets the barbell on that. Loads up. I, it's got to be all of the weight. Like you uh -huh. can't. This guy's so strong, and all he's doing is the final end of a squat, and so he just goes from there and pushes up. And he's like, "This is how I get my explosiveness." And this guy is so big and Weird. so fast, football player level, insanely fast. And he's saying like that's his secret. So his range of motion is just like the last. It's just like the last little bit of a squat, right? Because like when you're jumping, you're not. This was actually my problem. Um, pe people teaching me how to, to jump higher, they're like, no, you're you're squatting too low. Like, yeah. you don't need to get that low. It's about s rebound and spring. It's just the top end of that. Well, you explosion. can extend it a little more. That's why a lot of athletes do hand cleans. They don't do floor cleans. Oh, that's interesting. Because not, a, they don't really. Yeah, you just need that last bit of. Yeah. Right, because you're not squatting all the way down and using full, that. that's not as. So really, this is this is more of an athletic or, or that's not a right it's way to say it. like, more uh, uh, explosive, fast twitch than I'm used to. But no, but I'm saying um, you're trying to achieve a specific athletic goal. You're not trying to lift the most. Weight right. No, I know. I've to... stopped caring about having right. my squat numbers are going up, yeah. which is so 
weird for me. I haven't tried his thing yet, that what I just described, but I'm going to. Oh, definitely. I imagine I can put a, way more weight than oh. my back squat to do that. Well, you got to think about where where the limiting range is. Sure. And you also got to think, move the weight as fast as possible. Not like just get it up, because that's not going to be as fast twitch or as that's that, explosive. That's that Olympic lift. I know. Attitude. Imagine maybe I should just go back to Oli. I mean, maybe. I lose muscle. You know. Be hot or do something cool. Tough. Uh, you're in a, you're in a real pickle. Uh. Speaking of pickles, I'm still vegan. <laughs> Fifty-five minutes in. That's mm -hmm. that's a long. That's the longest I've we've ever gone with that. Well, we were talking about vegan. CrossFit, so that that's that <laughs> took its place. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, all right. More tips, or did we cover all the things? So, what is the easiest athletic thing? Oh, right. The, the arm cross. Athletic. Yeah, just cross your arms. Cross your arms. Um, oh, um, stick your jaw forward and down. I know, right? Chicken neck, they, that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. That's just, in general, for a face thing. Um, yeah, if, it's, if you're not trying to look fitness good, then make sure the lighting is soft, diffused over your face. Right. Overhead lighting for fitness, and then just just cut off your head. I mean, no one's looking at your face anyway if it's a fitness shot. Yeah. <laughs> that's so that's to me that's what's so weird about the fitness competitions is that they spray tan their neck down. It's so oh, black, the and their faces are just like regular. I did want to ask you about that. Do you think that they use darker color in the lines to contour? I wonder. Is that legal? I wonder. If not, we're signing up for oh a competition. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna win. Just like you like cartoon some muscles in. left, and then and like then a comic book. like black, do ultra black, and then on any parts. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, the way those like the those makeup artists do, so that like their face disappears in the black background. Right, and right, like, and yeah. they look like uh, like a, a character or whatever. Yeah. Would you ever? I I always thought that that would be such a fun video if I just signed up for a bodybuilding competition day of and did it. Yeah. I feel like I've seen that a couple of times. Oh, people have do done that, it? Yeah. Okay. Which, and it was okay. Or is it like insulting? Because people put a lot of work into yeah, that. Yeah, I, don't I would feel jerk. pretty insulted. Yeah, okay. It's or I would feel like I was insulting a lot of people. Yeah. Um, if I did it like on stage. If I was like, hey, you guys, I'm doing a video. Do you mind like making fun of me for a second? And they're like, yeah, come on up. Like, yeah, that, yeah. I could feel like that would work just as well. Right. I guess it's not insulting because they look incredible and I would look like a doof next to them. Right. I think, but you're. In theory, you could be conceived as belittling their yeah, sure. passion or whatever. That's fair. Because I still had water in me. <laughs> yeah. You had a water four days ago. <laughs> I think that covers it. What is the most impressive physical thing that you've... Not not that like someone can do, but like the one you see it and yeah. you're like, oh my god. You've, Other than Kayla Maurer. Because the one that I can do or the one I've seen? Both. Okay. What What is the coolest thing you can do? I think it's, I mean, now I really feel like it's making a silly face while doing something, having something yeah. heavy or hanging or whatever. I think that's pretty Because no one's doing that either. Right. Anything I found, that I do, some Demi bag me has done it better. <laughs> right. And in sponsored You know what I don't like, and I feel like I've seen this on fitness stuff um, and on dance stuff a lot, is this weird, it's this weird camera thing where the, the camera follows uh, the person's face yeah, so it's the a TikTok face effect. stays in the middle. It, you can just do that on TikTok. I'm pretty sure you can say that face, and then it just follows you when you're moving. I think it Matt looks Stephanie so does weird. It. Does. it looks crazy weird. It looks but cool. So, you don't like don't it. Know. Hmm. Maybe it's cool. Maybe I'm I'm not cool enough. I really don't like it. I want to see it. Ooh, I'm gonna try doing an Olympic lift because I've never seen that. Yeah, ride a bike. Do something else. Oh uh, yeah, interesting. Well, that's just like putting a GoPro out in front of you. No, the um. The 3D camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it looks like yeah. So I'm sorry. What's what's the coolest one? The coolest one I can do, I guess, is oh, it's it's cleaning Britney. Your girlfriend, yeah, absolutely. I, forget, I was I like, yeah, that's that. definitely it. Oh, I'm like, I know a guy that can do this. Clean and press <laughs> your girlfriend. Yeah. Here's the trick. Uh, the girlfriend has to be really athletic. Yeah. <laughs> that's the that's the trick. The girlfriend that can turn into a barbell. <laughs> Uh, you both have a hard task there. It's impressive. It's not that hard. It's just, and I do think okay. I have, I have an advantage because I, 
because of wrestling and sure, you've I knew done it, yeah. how to body pick somebody. I mean, oh, we used right. to do stuff. We used to do buddy carries. That was the worst. You just run up and down a hill and you'd be in pairs and they'd say, okay, first one, he's on your back like a backpack. Second one, you're holding him like a baby. Third one, he's um, he makes himself like a, a plank yeah, yeah. and you have to hold him. Oh he's God. straight up and down. You just got to hold him like that. It was a nightmare. It was so bad. That's just a recipe for staff, I feel like. Yeah, well, we all we had to, we showered with like um, sorry, it's, it's the shower police. <laughs> you had to get you had to get Dial antibacterial soap. Everybody did, and it just burns. Ugh, it hurts so bad. And you're probably sterile now because of it. It's been taken off the market. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that actually happened. I used to use this safeguard stuff, and then had triclosan in it or whatever, which is now banned. Oh boy. Yeah. They still make safeguard. They took the thing out. They took the bad stuff out. This safeguard? Uh, it's, it's just deodorant? a yeah. It's just a no bar bar, soap. bar body wash. Yeah, bar soap. Thanks, mom. <laughs> okay, so the most impressive thing I can do, which I just saw someone else do it, and I was like, "There's no way!" And I did it on the first try, standing on a half bosu ball thing, in a heel stretch. From the heel stretch down to a pistol squat and then back up again. Heel stretch is... You bring your foot up over your head as far as you can stretch your arm up. Which... So you look like a, a Y. <laughs> oh, I'm a Y. When Brittany does it, she's a yeah, lowercase L. <laughs> because her... Capital I. <laughs> yeah, capital I. Because she's wearing a hat. Right. She... <laughs> and heels. So her, her foot turnout, is way higher yeah. than mine. Yeah, she's got great turnout. But... Yeah, I mean, it looks cool, but that, I guess that goes back to, I've been doing heel stretches since I was also a ballerina as a kid, so I, have, I had an unfair advantage, just like you. I would say that anything you can do, if you can do it in a split, it's automatically pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. like visually a lot, you're like, oh. Hmm. I used to do that a lot more, too, where if I'm like, You'd split okay, I'm in a cool hotel lobby. Yeah, 7-Eleven, oh yeah. I forgot about that. You took a pic you took a picture of me doing a split on the 7-Eleven counter while pouring coffee. It's probably the coolest moment of my life. Also, you want to talk about getting staff. Oh, oops. <laughs> you were in shorts, weren't you? Sorry, everybody that got coffee at 7-Eleven in Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> well, but who goes to the 7-Eleven in Hollywood? <laughs> oh, Lord. And what's the most impressive thing you've seen someone do? on Instagram now. That's God, I think maybe every like, single day there's a there's an unbelievable new one. No. I saw one the other day where the guy does a jump shot in basketball, but he jumps and they're like, watch this. He keeps going up when he jumps and you're like, what? And then he jumps and he keeps going up. Like he jumps so high. He must have like a fifty foot vertical leap not fifty foot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Yeah. And, and you're like, well, that was, he just jumped up and down. Why is that so impressive? But it was Yeah, that's incredible. Awesome. Yeah. As someone who's been trying to increase their vertical leap. Yeah, I'll send it to you. You'll just, you'll just curl into a ball and start crying. Did you send me the one of the guy doing a backflip, but in, when he's upside down, he's in a Superman pose? No, but that's insane. It, yeah, it's. I don't know who sent it to me, and I, I'm not going to describe this well, but it looks like he's going to do a backflip, but when he hits the peak, he ends up extending out like, what superhero does this thing, right? When a superhero jumps yeah. and tucks a, a foot and then puts another foot out to, to power, destroy like a through karate, a wall, like a karate, karate kick. Jump but he's karate. upside down in a karate kick and then lands after rotating backwards and sideways. That's insane. But when he lands... He celebrates like crazy, like he could not believe that he did it. And it's in slow motions because if you didn't see it in slow motion, you would have no idea what happened. That's how fast it is. Right. But like the coolest part is that he's so stoked that he got it. I love that. That's amazing. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Ha. <sighs> well, good. Go forth and be start, cool on Instagram. Start snapping some pics. <laughs> And go forth and rate and review us. Ooh, should we do a next episode? Yeah. I sure. think we should the next rundown. Next run, next episode or we'll do um, we will review your reviews. Of our podcast. So go on Apple Podcasts and 
write a review that may or may not be just an actual review of the podcast. Perhaps commentary on how crappy the audio is in Hollywood. <laughs> Swat. <laughs> um, yeah, and we will read through all of them. Oh, Lord. All of them? We're going to say all of them. Also, give us five stars, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And we'll see you next time. Yeah.